is Helen Hachuk, and I present here Droid Translator, our project. And before my short speech, I want to show you one video to make you understand why we decided to develop our product, what problem it solves, and uh, how it works. Thousands of years ago, all people spoke just one language. Though later, a language barrier developed, which divided the peoples, isolating cultures, and bringing with it massive chaos and misunderstanding. For the thousands of years that have been filled with the tragedy of wars, the greatest minds of humanity have been looking for a way to return unity and harmony to mankind. Despite all of the numerous efforts and attempts to create a universal means of communication, the solution to the problem was only ever achieved in science fiction films. Today, it's a different world. We are introducing Droid Translator Software, a new step for mankind towards unrestrained communications. You can speak your language right now with the entire world in spite of distances. The software is able to comprehend your speech and provide an audio translation for the person you're speaking with. Now, you can simply have a conversation. Yeah, it's been three years. It's good to see you. Participate in a discussion. Good job. You're making progress. Obtain international information. I'm impressed with your work. You deserve a good grade. Si, professore. Cerco di fare il possibile. Consult with leading experts. Puedo consultar a mi doctor ahorita? Yes, of course. This is doctor. What is bothering you? Make new acquaintances. Привет, Джон. Я Камила. Hey, I'm John. What's up? Привет, я Джон. Как дела? It is not a fantasy anymore. It is reality. The Droid Translator can not only translate voice calls within the software, but can also translate video calls on Skype. From now on, human history will be divided into two epochs, before the Droid Translator and after the Droid Translator. Tell all your friends and acquaintances about it. Live in a new era. Download Droid Translator on Google Play right now and speak to the world in your own language. Uh, so, Droid Translator or simply Droider is a great application that overcomes language barrier. Um, in speech mode, the user can say word or phrase. You can uh, uh, it translate, it recognized by ASR, translate, and after transmits to the other side, and um, uh, transmits to allowing um, by TTS. Um, if um, you speak in your language and uh, you tell your phrase in your language, from another side, your friend will hear you in his language. In the chat mode, you can speak without uh, converse, in conversation with typing. Our main functions is a chat with or without translation. It's translation of our VoIP calls. It's translation of mobile calls and translation video calls. And of course, translation of chat. Uh, currently, Droid Translator uh, translate uh, to 29 languages uh, in total, and it works so, with all of them. It's our new design. Our users, it's people in a different gender and age from 18 to 55 who is interested to um, use uh, translation in such uh, fields. Dating, business, healthcare, education and tourism. Our plans for future. First, first of all, it's developing the Windows phone. It's adding the local translation, but in another functions. Integrating social uh, functions like international dating. It's improving the using experience. And of course, the most important, it's creating a social trend for using automatic translator. Uh, and uh, of course, I want to show you how it works in life. I will speak English, and you will hear from another device and French.
I am happy to be here. I wish everybody speaks French with our application. Je souhaite à tout le monde parler français. Il s'agit de notre application. Thank you for attention. Why don't you join us over here? And I'll give you that. And I am sure our judges have some questions. So well, I can't speak French, so I couldn't tell if it was accurate. <laughs> so was it accurate, audience? More or less? OK, so that relates to my question. How do you know the accuracy right now of everything that's translated? And how, uh, if it's not perfect, um, how will you know how to improve that? Uh, you mean how we improve translation? Yes. So is that, what, what's the percent of accuracy now? Um, when we decided to make our application, first of all, why we decided? We decided when uh, uh, we bought first smartphone and download first translator. It was Google Translator, but we understood that it's not enough for conversation because we could translate only, um, only, <laughs> only in local. Uh, but um, now we combine everything, our OIP service and translation together in one, uh, in one program, in one application. We use uh, technologies uh, such as Google, Trans uh, Google Recognizer and Bing, Microsoft Bing Translation and different TTS services and we did it together, we combined it together and we, we gave possibility to our users, to our customers um, to um, break language barrier and to speak with everybody in, in their language. So your technology is, the technology is the combining of the two because you're using Google and, and Bing translator technology, is that correct? Uh, it's what, is, what is your special mm -hmm. technology that you have? Uh, our special technology is our VoIP service with translation because we made our VoIP services and translation and we made translation to another VoIP services. So you, you're relying on other translation engines, but you're integrating yes. them all? Yes. And when it goes through Skype, it's not uh, your VoIP? You can, we can use it on, with Skype, of course, but now we are working on our video calls, and we will translate our video calls in future. Philippe. So I've been dreaming of something like this since I saw Star Wars uh, a long time ago. So th thanks for bringing this to, to the market. Um, okay. I think w w where I'm, um, you know, I, I can see the, the, the big vision here. What, what I'm, I'm, um, I think what, where I'm struggling a bit is that this is extremely hard, very hard to do. And, and some of the use cases that you've selected, I'm not sure make totally, uh, you know, total sense to me. Like you, can, you, you feature like dating. It is, or maybe I'm a bit old fashioned, but you know, what is the point to date, you know, to speak someone to someone at the other end of the world, you know, who doesn't speak your language? Like when you meet the person, what, what do you say? I mean, you can't take up, or well, whatever else you do, I, I don't know, but um, it doesn't, that doesn't look to me as the most abuse case. You know, another example is like healthcare. If you see a doctor, I mean, there is a lot of nuance in terms of what you want to say to your doctor. Um, so to me, the, the basic use case like this is, you know, if I'm traveling uh, in China, uh, or I'm traveling in Russia and I can't understand a word of, of these languages and, and I'm trying to find my way in the street or give an address to a taxi driver, I mean, this can be a use case where, you know, that can work because you don't need very sophisticated languages. So tell me a bit more about how you really think about the use case where this can be useful uh, because I wasn't, uh, I'm convinced about the technology. I mean, you know, obviously it's hard to do, but there's a lot of where you can improve it. Um, but how, how do you market this? How do you make this broadly used? We, we, did, we have, thank you for question. I understand why you, why you ask, and especially in dating. Um, we have different channels of communication, and of course, uh, for all customers, for, uh, for um, all our targets, are, they are different. Um, for dating, uh, we are working with dating services, and believe me, a lot of women and a lot of men want to speak one to each other, and they don't know even English, yes, and especially ladies from Russia, for example, yes, and they have a big, um, the big, uh, <laughs> they want to, 
Okay. They want they want to download this application, and it was our first customer. They were our first customers, and uh, we have one client. He's from G Great Britain. All the time he writes us letters, and he asks. Uh, last time he has to put a Thai language to to our application because he has a lot of women from Thailand, and he he, he cannot speak. And it was why you don't let me build my my life. I I want to, to talk to Thai ladies. Uh, we uh, of course I understand that. Um, it, the biggest problem now is translation, because uh, you know how how our translator uh, translates. But uh, in future, and we are going to put different dictionaries inside our program. Uh, if you are interested, in, for example, <laughs> some lady has uh, all time complained about his health, and uh, they need to talk about health with everybody, with speak, with doctors, with other people. And we will put a dictionary of health. If you need to talk about business, we will put dictionary of business. If you need any uh, additional dictionaries, we will put it. About local translation, I know this problem uh, because even here we came to France and we couldn't speak French with uh, local taxes. But uh, also we are working on it and we will make our local translator uh, with our technology without pressing button. button. So, uh, it means you will put, you will give your mobile, for example, or you will just show it. You will uh, talk in your language, and taxist will hear uh, you in his language. Okay. We've we're got lots of questions and very little time. Chris, I'm going to let you so get one in. I have one, I think, major question. Like, I love the technology, but obviously, the really hard science problem is being solved by Microsoft and Google because human translation is incredibly difficult and they've got armies of scientists working that problem to try to make this better. So what prevents them from saying, hey, Droid Translator is doing amazing, they got a lot, lot of market traction. What prevents them from building the same interface because they own the service, they could disconnect you in an instant. Uh, you know what, I am commercial director of this project. I don't know a lot about inside of technology. <laughs> um, but um, uh, when we made um, uh, the application, when we made the application, it was, uh, uh, we were thinking about uh, this application for every people. And we made uh, a special design and a special services to everybody to understand and to, to know how to use it. It's not difficult. You just download, you put now your Skype login, you press it, you will see all your contacts. After you press to, to contacts who you, who you want to talk, to talk, and that is all. Um, uh, if, uh, for, of course, uh, it's not uh, easy for everybody, <laughs> uh, but um, we have very good support in team, and we will try to help to everybody who, who, who asks us. All right. Really, who the, yeah, super who, fast. Just real quickly, in two sentences, who's the team? Who are the three or four important people on the team? Okay. Who is your, the your team? team? Uh, our team, you, you, you mean who are our team? Yes. Yeah. Uh, we have, uh, I'm co-founder, and uh, the founder is Alexander Kanavalov. He's sale after uh, of idea, is co-founder. We have IT uh, company, uh, IT um, specialists. We have designers, lawyers, and uh, marketing department. All right. I am sure there are lots of questions in lots of languages, and we'll be able to ask them to you at, the, at your booth. So thank you very much thank for your you. presentation. Thank you.